If you've traveled lately, you know that some airlines are taking more of a no-frills approach, fewer bags allowed, less leg room. Embrace yourself because hotels are now jumping in on that trend. Mark Alwell is Travel and Leisure's international editor. Mark, good to see you. Welcome Thanks, back. Matt. This seems to be this no-frills approach to life, a runaway train. Are companies doing this because customers are telling them they like it, or are they doing it to just save on the bottom line? They're trying to save on the bottom line. This is, you know, this is a, a cost-conscious decision. But on the other hand, there are people who don't want a lot of the extra services. In fact, over the last 10 years, the number of limited service hotel rooms has increased by 16 percent. The number of full service hotel rooms has increased only 6 percent. All right. So. so the customers are telling these hotels, they're saying, look, you know, you can cut back on frills. Give me a better rate. The New York Hilton here recently announced no more room service. How is that going to go over with customers, do you, you think? Know, I think that the leisure traveler is probably not going to care so much about room service as a business traveler. And what's interesting is that the New York Midtown Hotel that is cutting room service is very business traveler friendly. They're one of the biggest hotels uh, in, in the country and uh, it's certainly the biggest in New York. They love, they love business travelers to not offer that to business travelers is dicey. Other hotels are cutting different luxuries, yeah. for example, fewer amenities in the rooms, and you might not have a valet to carry your bags when you <laughs> check right. in. That's right. In fact, you might not even have a check-in clerk in the fr at the front desk. Kind of there, one of those airline terminal things? There, there, a lot of hotels are starting to, to have, yeah, like uh, ATM machines where you check in that way. They're doing away with business centers. They're doing away with a lot of the frills that front door uh, uh, valets are, are a thing of the past in many hotels. It worries me because you're losing jobs, obviously. Those people who used That's to be the valets true. and the check-in people are losing their jobs. Are we going to see the savings? In other words, as these hotels do away with some of these amenities, are they going to pass on the savings to the consumer? You're probably not going to see so much reduction in rates as getting other amenities for free. What people really want when they go to hotels, most people, uh, would be free Wi-Fi, free parking, free breakfast. So I think you're going to start to see those things incorporated into your rate while we see things like room service go away. Let's go to the airlines for a second because they seem to be the pioneers in this no-frills type of business. Uh, things like leg room you pay for, extra bags you pay for, sometimes the first bag you pay for, a meal on the flight you pay for. I saw a recent survey where some customers, airline customers, punished one of the low fare airlines for all these add-on costs. That's true. You know, these days with the internet, it is so easy to get your voice heard as an individual consumer. So people are making their their opinions well known. Airlines are are kind of taking a beating on all of these extra fees. People do not like them. United Airlines is doing what they call bundling the market. Okay, basically <laughs> they become the first carrier to offer one-year subscriptions. What does this mean? Well, they're offering a one-year subscription on baggage fees, for example. For example, you pay $349 you don't have to pay any additional fee, $25, to, uh, to check your bag. So but you have to make sure you fly on that airline a lot during that year. You have to fly at least eight times to, to break even. But if you fly eight times, you're probably an elite member of their frequent flyer program, in which case you get a free check bag anyway. So that's going to be a tough sell. All right, Mark, nice to see you as always. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks very much.